Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video is going to consider the binomial distribution uh, and its application uh, in a particular context. Uh, so I'm calling this example 1, there will be more videos to follow that deal, deal with different contexts, contexts and different examples. But let's just consider a simple example. Let's say a car, a car has, let's say, four airbags okay? okay and what we know about the quality of the airbags and their characteristics so a car has four airbags and the probability the probability okay uh, that an airbag airbag fails to inflate okay okay uh, if if the car uh, is in an accident okay, okay, is 0 0.3 now that's a very very high probability but just for this particular scenario let's assume it's 0 0.3 okay uh, and I have a number of questions yeah I have a number of concerns yeah okay uh, and let's say part A is I want to find out what is okay what is the probability probability okay that two airbags fail to inflate okay if the car is in an accident okay uh, this is a binomial distribution problem uh, or binomial probability problem uh, it's dealing with a number of objects we have four particular objects within a particular within a particular car, their airbags, okay? And we've been given the characteristics of a particular, uh, any one of the particular airbags, uh, and one of two things can happen. The airbag can either fail to inflate or the airbag can inflate. So these types of scenarios are, I suppose, defined to be binomial uh, scenarios. Uh, so in this particular case, we have four objects, we have four airbags, and we're given the probability of uh, of 0 0.3. 0 0.3 represents the probability that an airbag an airbag fails to inflate. And this is important. This is the context of the question. Okay, it's the context of the question or the scenario is in in, in terms of failing to inflate. Okay, and what I'm interested in what is the probability that two airbags out of the four, okay, if the car is in a crash, that two of these airbags fail to inflate. So that two airbags fail fail to inflate okay uh, the binomial formula the formula uh, looks something like this it says the probability okay uh, that out of the x objects that we have okay that two of them take on the particular characteristic or sorry the x of them small x take on a particular characteristic is equal to n c x times p to the power of x times 1 minus p to the power of n minus minus x okay so to calculate any binomial probability, we need three things. We need to know n, the total number of objects. In this case, we have four airbags, so n is equal to four. Okay? We need to know p, the probability of a particular event occurring. In this case, we're talking about airbags failing to inflate. So p uh, is equal to 0 0.3. Okay? Uh, and we also need to know x, okay, x, out of, out of the n objects, okay, uh, x represents how many of the n objects we're interested in this particular condition applying to. In other words, how many of the four airbags are we interested in that fail to inflate. And in this situation, uh, the question itself says, what is the probability that two airbags fail to inflate? inflate? So we have x is equal to 2. Okay. So to calculate this probability, the probability that two airbags fail to inflate, we just plug everything into our binomial formula. Okay. So from a let's say if I was to read this, the question is well the question is this. Okay. Let me try to put this into words. Words, I suppose, with respect to the context of the question. So when I read this mathematically, this is saying to me, what is the probability? Okay. okay Okay, that if the car is in a car crash, okay, that two airbags fail to inflate. Okay, so in this case, well, it's equal to n c x n is four, so it's equal to four c x is two times p, which is zero point three. 
okay? Raised to the power of x, which is 2, times 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 minus 2. Okay, so the question is, what is what is 4c2? Okay, what is 0 0.3 raised to the power of 2? What is 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 minus 2? Let's do the basic arithmetic first. So this becomes 4c2 times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 2 times, well, 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. Raised to the power of 4 minus 2 gives us 2. So we just have the product of three numbers here. The first number can be determined as a combination. How many ways can we select two objects from four objects? It's the combinations formula, but we'll use our calculator. So what I like to calculate is 4C2. So it's 4, second function. My NCR button is above my 5, so I hit the 5, followed by 2, which gives me 4C2. And the answer here is 6. The six different ways we could select two objects from four. So this becomes 6 times 0 0.3 squared times 0 0.7 squared. When I work that out, this is 6 times 0 0.3 to be squared times 0 0.7 to be squared. It gives us a value of 0 0.2646, or about 26.46%, yeah, okay? In other words, what we're saying here is that although the probability of a single airbag failing to inflate is 0 0.3, in other words, you have a 30% likelihood that one particular airbag won't inflate, okay? okay. Uh, if you just have one airbag, okay? If we have four airbags, the probability that two of them will fail to inflate uh, is 0 0.2646. We have a 26% uh, likelihood that two of the four airbags will, will fail to inflate, okay? Let's do another example, okay? Uh, let's call this uh, part B, okay? Uh, what what is the probability, what is the probability, okay, uh, that all airbags fail to inflate, okay? Now, we're still talking about fail to inflate, okay? So that's important, yeah? Let's just remind ourselves once again the formula. The formula is the probability of x taking on a specific value, okay? The scenario taking on a specific value is equal to ncx times p to the power of x times 1 minus p to the power of n minus x, okay? Uh, we, need, we need three numbers. We need n. Well, n is the total number of objects we have. We have four. P is the probability of something, the probability of the condition being applied to just one object on its own which is 0 0.3, so p is equal to 0 0.3. That's from our scenario that we just that we just set up, okay? The probability, okay, that an airbag fails to inflate is 0 0.3, okay? And we need to know, we need to know x, yeah? x is out of the four objects, what are we interested in? Now the context of the experiment is all about failing to inflate. And the probability we want, want to calculate is what is the probability that all airbags fail to inflate? Well, all the airbags failing to inflate would be the whole four of them. So x is equal to four. Okay? So this becomes the probability okay, that if the car is in a car crash, okay, that four airbags fails to inflate, fail to inflate, well, that's equal to ncx, which is 4c4, Okay. times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 times 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 minus 4. Okay. Once again, I always do the basic arithmetic first. This becomes 4C4 times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 times 0 0.7 raised to the power of 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. Just recall that any number x raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1, okay? And also, well, when we do it on the calculator, 4c4, how many ways can you select 4 objects from 4 objects? Well, there's only one way to do that. But let's do it on the calculator. 4, second function, the NCR button, 4, and clearly see we get 1. So 4c4, 4c4 is also equal to 1. So actually the probability, this is 1, this is 1, so 1 times 0 0.3 to the 4 is 0 0.3 to the 4, times 1 is 0 0.3 to the 4. So this just reduces to 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4. And 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4, on my calculator, 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 
gives us a probability of 0 0.008 yeah so really what this is saying is if I multiply that by 100 okay I get 0.8 okay so this is let's say equivalent to 0.8 percent so we let we have if the probability of any airbag failing to inf inflate is 0 0.3 or if there's a 30 percent likelihood that an airbag will fail to inflate the probability that all of the airbags fail to inflate is less than one percent okay let's do another example okay and then maybe we can uh, we can move on another example in this context let's call this c okay uh, the question is what is the probability what is the probability okay okay mm -hmm. uh, that at least that at least two airbags airbags fail to inflate okay once again we're talking about failing to inflate well at least two airbags failing to inflate means that either two failed or three failed because three is at least two okay okay or all of them four of them failed okay so to calculate this probability okay and uh, once again let's write down our formula the probability that x takes on a specific value is equal to n c x times p to the power of x times one minus p to the power of n minus x okay n in our scenario is equal to four P is the probability in this case of an airbag failing to inflate is 0 0.3 and X well X is well X could be one of three particular values it could be two or three or four so we need to calculate three probabilities let me write it down in a little bit more uh, rigor yeah this whole scenario here is what is the probability that the random variable okay what is the probability that if we're in a car crash that at least two airbags fail to inflate in other words that in the car crash that at least two airbags that's at least two fail to inflate well this is equal to the probability that x t is equal to two or the probability that x oh sorry or x is equal to three or x is equal to four this is the addition rule so this becomes the probability that x is equal to two plus the probability that x is equal to 3 plus the probability that x is equal to 4 from our previous example we already know what the probability of x being equal to 4 is it's it's 0 0.008 and from the earlier example we also know what the probability of x being equal to 2 is it's 0.2646 so the only probability that we need to calculate here is the probability of x being equal to 3 now when x is equal to 3, the probability uh, that x is equal to 3 is 4c3 times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 3 times 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 minus 3. That gives us a value well, well of 4c3. How many ways can we select 3 items from 4? Well, let's have a look at that. 4, second function, the NCR button, 3, 4c3 gives us 4. So this is 4 times 0 0.3 cubed times 0 0.7 raised to the power of 1 so when I calculate this this is it's 4 times 0.3 cubed times 0.7 to the power of 1 which is just 0.7 gives us 0 0.0756 sorry guys my my pen is running out of ink here okay uh, so our overall probability is the probability that x is equal to 2 plus the probability that x is equal to 3 plus the probability that x is equal to 4. So let me just put this here as an aside. Okay. So our overall probability continued. The probability that x is equal to 2 so from the first scenario is 0.2646. So this is 0 0.2646. Plus the probability that x is equal to 3 is, we've just calculated it, 0 0.0756. Plus the probability that x is equal to 4, and we have that also from a previous example, is 0 0.008. So this is uh, 0 0.008, giving us a probability when we sum these up. It's 0 0.2646 
plus 0 0.0756 plus 0 0.008 gives us a probability of 0 0.3482. So what we're really saying here is if you're in a car crash, right, if you're unfortunate to be in a car crash, and if there's four airbags in the car, the chances that two airbags fail to inflate, or three or four, is you have a 34, or about 35% likelihood of that happening. Uh, okay guys, uh, once again this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, uh, and this short video dealing with an example of the application of the binomial uh, distribution okay uh, well this short video is dealing with an application of the binomial distribution to a scenario uh, and I hope that this video was somewhat helpful okay okay thank you for your time bye bye